hello good people welcome back to the channel thank you for being here and if you are new here welcome if you don't know who i am my name is martha you know on this channel i talk about ebt snap food stamps which we know is all the same anything that's consumer related ssi ssdi and everything in between if you are a consumer like I am looking to save money, check out Rakuten. I have a link listed below. All you have to do is sign in, shop, and receive cash back. If you've seen my previous video where I basically was telling you that I was going to start implementing different types of videos into my channel, I started a couple of weeks ago where I started talking about something a little bit different other than SNAP benefits, so security and all of that. So today I want to talk to you about the prosecutor, Fannie Willis in the state of Georgia. If you don't know who she is, she is the lady that is prosecuting, you know who, and I really don't want to say his name on my channel. So she's in the state of Georgia where she is prosecuting him. And now she is in a hearing talking about some misconducts that she actually you know have done so now she's not on trial but they actually are talking to her about these things and i just want to talk a little bit about it because i feel like and this is my own personal opinion i just feel like i wish she would have thought a little bit clearer on what she was actually doing when she actually hired this gentleman to, you know, be on the team to help prosecute, you know, who I just feel like she wasn't really thinking clearly on the repercussions that could possibly come behind all of this, because anytime that you are doing something with someone, and especially on a big case like this, and if it's something that, that you should not be possibly doing, it's a chance that it's going to come out. Like in her case, where they are saying now that she was seeing this guy that she hired to get on the team to prosecute you know who, that she was seeing him and that they took some trips together and money was exchanged and the problem there is basically is the money it's the money i don't really think it has anything to do about anything else but once you start talking about money and doing things like that you're gonna start having problems so i just really wish she would have thought about this clearly um and hindsight is 2020 i'm sure she's probably thinking now like oh my gosh you know what was i thinking you know i'm not in her head but i'm just that's just to me that's just common sense but i just wish she would have thought this out clearly when she hired him and when she started seeing him and then it says they said something about the man was still married and and he said and they saying that he was not they were separated and all this you know all these different things like that so it's like it's just a whole lot of stuff that's going on and i just again i just really wish that she would have thought about what she was actually doing because now it's like she again like i said she's not on trial but she's going she she went through this hearing which the hearing is over now and they said that she's not going to take um, the stand again. Um, but I feel like the damage is done now, you know, because the way she pretty much so behaved while she was being questioned. And again, you know, it's like they are just wanting for people that's in high power position, especially black women. They want them to behave just like that so they can say, Look at her. She's just an angry black woman. You know what I'm saying? Even though that may not have anything to do with it. But again, I just wish she would have thought about the things that was going on during this time. Because look now, everything is coming out as if though she has done something wrong. 
And me personally, I don't think she's done anything wrong, but it's a simple fact of the matter. Now they're talking about money. Money was exchanged, this and that, even though they took these trips together. He charged it on his business credit card. She just reimbursed him. He paid his card off. And it's like, okay, that's what he did. But again, it's just, it just, it just looks funny. It just looked like it's unethical. You know what I'm saying? So again, and I know I've said this a thousand times so far in this video, I just wish she would have thought things clearly. Um, because again, she's, she's really looking crazy right about now. And especially the way she behaved on the witness stand and that's not the way she should have handled that. And I, I get it. I understand she's pissed off. She's angry, but she is in a position where she should not just go so low like that. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to, you have to keep your eye on the prize and just, you know, do, do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Answer those questions without having an attitude and just, you know, you know, just say, say what you got to say, but all that, you know, that, ghetto ness and all that you know hatefulness and i mean i get it i trust i get it but it's not the way to behave when you're in that type of position that you're in and i just wish you would have did things different so that's just my two cents on it so tell me what your thoughts on this if you are familiar with this um case that's going on now with of course everybody should know about it she's prosecuting you know who um, in the state of Georgia because of the election when he lost to Biden and all this stuff like that. So yeah, comment below and tell me what your thoughts are on this. Are you watching it? Do you see what's going on right now? Do you see what they're trying to actually do to her? You know, to me, I feel like they just trying to railroad her now, you know what I'm saying? And I just hate that it's going the way it's going. And I, again, I'm going to continue to say this. I wish she just would have thought clearly on what was going on during this time. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for being here again. If you think you might enjoy this type of content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share this video. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my next video and I will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care. Bye-bye.